This is a video that shows why you need to take x-rays. This is tooth number 12 and 13. There's the upper left premolars and you can see the whiteness and the little darkness between the teeth. And when we look at the teeth, they look perfectly fine. Doesn't seem like there's any problem. But when you looked at the x-rays, if you go back, you can see that there was like a little triangle on both of the teeth. The one actually went through to the past the enamel and x-rays only show 70% of what's there. And so when it's really close like that, it's a decision of the dentist as to if he should go ahead and re, uh, do a filling there or watch it. Uh, but it also depends on the caries rate or how quickly people get decay. Some people are drinking a lot of soda, they get a lot of decay and they don't go to the dentist very often. And so oftentimes the filling might be done in that case. Someone on the other hand who doesn't get decay very often might be able to have it watched. This one filling though, you can see the white decalcification that's gone through the enamel and that's what you can see right there. And it goes into the next tooth structure, which is the yellow tooth structure there, which is dentin. And the idea is to be able to make the filling be really small so that it will last a long time. Now, if this patient had been flossing, there wouldn't have uh, had this occurred, but uh, the individual uh, really wasn't very good at doing that and had been in the dentist for quite a while. You can still see a little bit of the brown area in the dentin as well as the decalcification. Go ahead and remove all the decalcification as well as the dentin. We will see that there's a little line or crack just on the bottom surface of the filling here in just a minute still removing some of the filling but as you can tell this is really kind of small and we are getting everything out and then we'll put in a band now the adjacent tooth you can see like a little white spot there that's what was showing up on the x-ray and because this one was so small, we decided that uh, we would monitor the other one and always can uh, do that at some other time. On the other hand, if the person increases their ability to floss and might be able to maintain that for years, especially if they're doing a fluoride rinse. The uh, idea of fluoride is helping the enamel stay that way. Here's the filling in place. And we have them bite down on an articulating paper. You can see the, the red right on top there. And we're going to adjust the bite so that the person doesn't put any major pressure there. Then we polish it up and make it nice and smooth and allow the patient to polish uh, or floss that area in a nice way. And so there's the filling. And it's really very simple. If you take a look at our next series where uh, it becomes a gray when you look at it, you'll see that it's much larger and you'd like to be able to avoid that. And so a lot of times that's why we go ahead and do the tiny little filling like this.